When it comes to supersized machines, giant earth movers are at the starting point of our world economy. Without them, it just would not function. All raw materials have to be mined to produce the cars we drive, uh, the streets we drive on, the buildings we work in. Among the biggest of all earth movers are giant bucket wheel excavators. Some reaching over 700 feet in length, 300 feet in height, and weighing as much as 30 million pounds. They're the largest machines on land capable of moving under their own power. Bucket wheel excavators, or BWEs, are used primarily to mine lignite, or brown coal. It works best in loose, sandy material. The digging wheel and its multi-buckets is not designed for digging through solid rock or glacier-type boulders. It needs looser, more gravelly-type material to dig through efficiently. This giant erector set of a machine is made up of many components. You have the large digging wheel at the front, which is 71 feet in diameter. It is connected to a large boom, which then connects to the central tower. The central tower has a conveyor bridge, which extends from the back end of that, and then that is hooked to what is referred to as a discharge unit. The discharge unit carries the material onto large overland conveyors. Although incredibly efficient as earth movers, BWEs pose no threat to the world's land speed record. The speed of these machines uh, are up to perhaps maybe about 30 feet per minute, which would translate into about one third of a mile per hour. However, the fact that they can move at all is a technological miracle brought about through the use of giant crawlers. The main assembly is supported by an undercarriage with 12 massive crawlers, each 49 feet in length. The reason that these bucket wheel excavators like 293 require so many crawlers is for flotation. Because of the underfooting that the machine works on, it has to be extremely level, extremely stable. Computers allow the operators to monitor all aspects of the digging operation. But even with this technology, several crew members are needed to operate the machine. These machines typically are run by about uh, four or five people. There is one operator that is located in the main operator's cab. This operator would have an overall control of the whole machine. The price tag for one of these brutes is as big as the machine itself. The bucket wheel excavator of this size cost over $100 million. The weight of the machine obviously a major factor in determining of the cost of the machine and the sophistication of the equipment. Yet if you want to move an astonishing 314,000 cubic yards of material in one day, a giant bucket wheel excavator is the only way to go. Another goliath amongst earth-moving machines is the Terex ONK RH400 hydraulic front shovel excavator. The RH400 is the world's largest front shovel. 57 cubic yard bucket, 4,400 horsepower, 1,100 tons operating weight. It is simply huge. There has never been another hydraulic excavator like the RH400. Everything kind of looks like it's out of a science fiction novel or something. With its gigantic bucket, it's able to do the work of many smaller excavators in less time, and with more efficiency. The RH400's large bucket is capable of loading a 240-ton capacity truck, three quick passes, with each pass averaging less than 29 seconds. One of the main advantages of a hydraulic diesel shovel is its mobility. Unlike some electric shovels tethered to power lines, it can move freely. Once it's finished working at a location, 
it can relatively quickly move to another working location and go right to work. Mining companies thinking of buying the giant shovel can also expect to shovel out a lot of cash. They have to be ready to write a big check for, oh, in the neighborhood of 10 to 11 million dollars. But because of their size and their massive capacity, their productivity should outweigh the cost of the machine in the long run.